So Marisol and Charles will speak about giving their testimony. And it really is a wonderful testimony. They're going to get married in November, uh, but not in Corpus Christi. They're going down south. Um, so they're a wonderful couple, and there you go. You got it. Uh, thanks, Father. Yeah, we're getting married in Mexico, so sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, my name is Charles Lancaster. I was born in Costa Rica. Uh, I'm the third of four siblings. Um, I was brought up in a very Catholic environment. I went to Catholic education, high school, and I do everything. But I, I follow through the motions um, mindlessly and without any real conviction. I thought that religion was boring. And I can summarize my spiritual life in a very simple phrase. Don't be a jerk to others and just be a nice guy. Uh, but it was a very empty and shallow life. Sometimes I felt unloved and I felt that I was causing more damage to others uh, just by my life choices. After a decade of, uh, of a nameless and careless life, I decided to find a new way um, and decided to move to Canada to do a master's degree. Some years later, here in Canada, um, I went to a dinner party uh, with some friends from the master's program uh, and a friend from Mexico, Bernardo, he showed up with this tall, gorgeous, very good-looking black-haired beauty on his arm, and I just felt a pang of jealousy. I was. Ah. Uh, when he came to say hello, when I was sitting, uh, I gradually acknowledged his existence. Hey, Bernardo, how are you? And, and he said, yeah, hey, Charles, let me introduce you to my sister. I said, like, what? wait a minute, your sister? Well, nice to meet you, Marisol. <laughs> hello, my name is Marisol Ruz Hernandez. I was born in Mexico, and I'm the third of five kids. I've been raised in a Catholic and devoted family. I can summarize my life as a very normal, happy, and God's person's life. I had some relationships before Charlie, and I felt that none of them were the one that God had dreamt for me. As the years passed, my hope of meeting the man that God dreamt for me started to diminish. On February last year, the ninth day of a novena that I was praying to St. Joseph, I had a major faith crisis in my life. I didn't understand what was going on. My brother Bernardo, who was living here, invited me to spend a summer with him, and this was the trip that I really needed. For the first time, I didn't know what I was looking for, so I left everything in God's hands and let him surprise me. After only six days in Vancouver, Bernardo invited me to a dinner party where friends from his master's program were going to be, and that's where I met Charlie. I was over the moon. I was dating the most beautiful uh, woman in the world. She was kind. Well, she is kind and humble. Uh, very important. <laughs> the most caring and loving person um, that I have ever met. I knew Bernardo and his family were, were religious. Um, and that was one of the trending topics that I had with Marisol during my hikes and dates with her. She started to invite me to uh, Sunday Mass. Every Sunday, we, I went with her. I paid attention, but nothing. I stood up when everybody was standing up. I sat down when everybody was sitting down, but nothing. I, I didn't feel anything. We started coming to here, to, to Corpus Christi, where, uh, where a young priest approached me after Mass, uh, the, the one that uses a lot of props during his homilies. <laughs> And he invited me to a course called Alpha. He said that it was every Wednesday that we were going to have great conversations and free food. Okay, I'm very good at eating and talking, sometimes at the same time. <laughs> so I decided to invite Marisol to Alpha. Well, imagine that this non-religious, good-looking guy is inviting me to a Catholic course called Alpha. Definitely, God writes straight in crooked lines. 
On the first day of Alpha, I didn't know what to expect, and then the videos and discussions were about simple questions, such as, who was Jesus? To more complex ones, such as, is my existence a coincidence or not? For me, Alpha was an enlightening and beautiful experience that I recommend to everyone, no matter your beliefs or your stage in life. Definitely, uh, Alpha provided us a very safe space um, to share our stories. Nobody is judging you. You can find on the same table hardcore Catholics, atheists, sheep, and definitely some wolves. But all of them are asking the same questions and finding answers together. You start Alpha on a table with eight strangers, and you leave Alpha with eight new family members. Week after week, I started to change my focus during Alpha from impressing the beautiful girl to, to actually question my faith, considering my life choices, who is God, and what is true love. I met Jesus during Alpha in a whole new different view. He's a radical figure that changed the world. He's a rebel, the first hippie, a God that loves unconditionally, and the, uh, the, the most important thing, that he's the truth that I was seeking. Alpha changed my life. It started like a fire inside me that opened a new dimension of love. It literally brought me into the light, and now walking hand in hand with my future wife-to-be, setting our eyes on God. Definitely, it was the igniter that I needed to start the process of becoming the man that God dreamt that I was ought to be. And as Father Hamilton said, we are getting married on November the 4th, and we will keep walking this beautiful path together, wrapped in God's love and enjoying this journey that, we, that he dreamt for us. Thank you very much. This is a classic example. Um, you know, sometimes it works if I tell somebody to go to church. Probably if I told Charles, I don't want to speak for him, Charles, you need to go to church. He might have gone for obedience or maybe because I'm 6'6 six, six, six and um, taller than he is and twice his age. But it probably wouldn't have lasted. But when you're invited by somebody who's a friend or somebody you love, the dispositions of the heart change. Now, I know it's not the same for everybody because we're all unique and different. And you have to be open to what Jesus Christ offers you. But it's clearly um, made easier when you are invited by a friend. There's, I'll never encounter people you can encounter. I would have never known these two if they would not come here. She had not invited him, and then Father Richard invited them both to Alpha. So it's a classic example of how you know, believing, uh, behaving, and belonging is turned around to be, uh, believe, belonging, and then you believe in a new way, because he had the faith. I mean, he believed kind of intellectually, perhaps, but and then a lot of the other things fall into place. So it really does come through the dispositions of the heart, which are motivated by, ultimately, it's by love. We all long for it. We all want it. In this case, romantic love, but it can just be the love of friendship. So, anyways, consider inviting somebody to Alpha, or perhaps you as a Catholic attending Alpha, because it really can be an eye and heart opener uh, in your relationship with Jesus Christ, and if you're a Catholic, the Catholic faith. <laughs>